Having a rabbi speak in three minutes might be a little challenging. Good morning. As one of the senior chaplains serving thousands of students and alumni each year here on campus, we have 21 years now, I have seen so much good, so much compassion, and so much care and concern for others. Sadly, in the past year, our Illinois family has been confronted with some unprecedented behavior. Vandalism of our most iconic landmarks, like the columns of Fallinger Auditorium, the night before Friday, damaged that I don't know if it could be repaired. We saw encampments that turned public spaces being restricted to certain students. We saw violent acts against public safety officers who bent backwards over to de-escalate and were attacked in a way that resulted in charges of felony mob action. The necessary action to keep our students safe costed this university hundreds of thousands of dollars. We saw the cancellation of the 5K marathon. We saw posters calling for acts of terror disruption in classes. This is not Illinois. The vast majority of Illinois does not accept this ugliness. Let us be clear. The rules that existed before the past year did not anticipate such actions, but thanks to thoughtful concern, measured and firm response from Illinois leadership who showed up, showed deep concern, protected those targeted for intimidation and responded to all lawful discrimination and intimidation. This is the Illinois way, and that will continue to be the Illinois way. Make no mistake, we saw effort to make members of our Jewish community and our allies live in fear. They tried to drive us underground. They wanted us to hide, but we got taller, we got prouder, and we got stronger. We are proud of our Jewish identity and our community is and will only continue to grow. I give credit and thanks to the Board of Trustees, President Colleen, Chancellor Jones, and their teams, and especially UIPD, who took lots of time to protect us, just as they would any group targeted for discrimination and intimidation. And we thank the community at large who stood up and sent messages of support. Going forward, I hope that the new and updated comprehensive rules, which were clearly articulated, will make our campus a lot safer. Free speech will continue unabated on our campus. But I do want to take a moment that we should, for the benefit of experiences that happened in the past year, to make certain things clear. Number one, encampments on public university property that restrict certain students from entering is not speech. It's unlawful discrimination. Blockades are coercion. It's not speech. Conducting demonstrations outside a house of worship during prayer is infringement of our First Amendment right, not speech. Advocating physical harm to any racial or ethnic group, to any minority, is not protected speech. Defacing iconic university landmarks is vandalism, not speech. Illinois is about hospitality, tolerance, and a welcoming environment for all. And I want to thank you, the board and our leadership, for ensuring that Illinois stays a place of mutual respect a place that everyone is safe, and most importantly, a place that everybody comes to get a quality degree in a great institution. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rabbi. That concludes our public comment session, and we will now turn